Good morning, everyone. Uh, it's Jimmy Lee. We are here uh, day two. Uh, it's uh, Wednesday, June 25th, 2014. We are starting a uh, second session of uh, our docu series. Uh, yesterday, uh, the boys, uh, Luke Hot Wagner, John uh, Erickson, Scott Erickson, myself, uh, went through uh, the footage. Went through about seven hours of footage. Uh, today, we're going to complete. Uh, the rest of the content, and we're going to uh, lay out a storyboard uh, for the docu series. Uh, our plans for this docu series is to um, have about 10 episodes, and uh, each episode is going to be about 10 minutes long. And first two is going to is going to update the audience uh, from the first uh, four events, and we're going to start from there and uh, be able to. Uh, Starts uh, XFCI5 during the fight week and share uh, some of the story that we've, we've captured uh, down in uh, Sao Paulo uh, uh, a couple weeks ago. So, excited to get this going. Uh, me and uh, John are out here waiting for these guys to. Uh... What's up, John? Hello. That was the first session yesterday. It's good, a little long, but it's good to get through all the footage. Was there any key uh, key takeaways that you took away from yesterday from from what we do uh, during fight week down there? Yeah, all the all the like community service that the fighters do before the fight was very surprising. Was there any characters in the uh, the, the the filming that that stood out to you? Um. I don't know, <laughs> Myron. Um, he's very he knows what he's doing, and I don't remember the name of the fighters, but a couple of the fighters were very cool. Awesome, man. Uh. Yeah, so we have this uh, film live today, and we're gonna invite uh, the team to uh, jump on board to uh, join the uh, join our group right here as we. Uh, as we start this uh, second day session and get this rocking, we're excited to uh, to start this. And um, yeah, stay tuned, you guys. You are here. You are here too. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, oh, okay, you're live. Come here. I thought Luke was gonna let you in. I looked at the text. Okay, so we're on day two. This is actually a live uh, hangout. I'm um, a bit, I'm actually videotaping it. Oh. Live the whole time. So, Scott Erickson. Well, we're taping what? The whole day? Just, just us, yeah. Oh, just kind of. Jimmy B. <laughs> Jay Diesel. Oh, so the whole team is actually invited to actually watch us uh, day two. So, <laughs> okay. Hey, good morning. How are you? Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> no worries, dude. 
So my laptop, I've got the, uh, the the live hangouts uh, on right now. So, so, so video taping. Nice. So I'm sending out to the team to, to invite them onto the hangout. If they want to come. They want to kind of jump on and see yeah, what's see what's going on. So you can see how much crap we all look like. Yeah. You look good, Scott. <laughs> Morning, people. No, I'm not, dude. I'm becoming one, I guess. Yeah. for a second. That was the first day watching the video. Oh, well, we got about halfway through. I didn't realize just how much footage Scott got. Um, I mean, we have a lot of work to do, but it's going well. I have an idea in my mind of where we're going with it now. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah. yeah, I'm feeling confident with all this. This is good. So what stood out to you from the footage? Was there anything that like popped out to you? And you know, John was like saying, like John just thought like we just went down there and the next, you know, meet the fighters and the next day they fought. Yeah. Was there anything that, that stood out to you? There was a lot of buildup. Yeah. A huge amount of buildup. Um, I mean, how many events are just involved with LBB? LBB, right? Yeah, LBB. Yeah, you know, that was the uh, that was the Wednesday. It was a Wednesday event with the athletes. And then, I mean, the fighters, there was local fighters, there's the fighters coming in from all different countries. Um, I mean, there was a lot of, they uh, had the more relaxed days, uh, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday, Friday started coming along. The whole set was built. Mm -hmm. um, they were ready for Saturday, that, the big Saturday, Friday. Yeah, so Friday we watched the weigh-ins. There Actually, you watched the, the, the official way in, which was the the morning one. That one's the intense one. Yeah, Scott catches some of the, uh, the fighters, of, you know, in, in sweatsuits. Emma is just sweating, you know? sweating, sweating. So, and in the drama of, uh, of um, fighters being injured, um, that was with Pedro Jr. And so that was like literally Friday, like Thursday morning. You know, so we had a quick hurry, you know, so that's part of the drama that we'll be showing. Mm -hmm. uh, it should be fun. Here we go again. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this hangout uh, records up to eight hours. At a time? Yeah. You can do eight hours at a time? I mean, you do. Isn't that crazy? Right. Well, we'll just do this every day then. Yeah. 
So this is good for like behind the scenes stuff, right? So, so you just rip it from you know, right from the L2. <laughs> Here's Scott making us some morning coffee. Freshly ground. He's got this special uh, coffee from, uh, from Brazil, actually. Brazil. This is made by Roaster Coffee. They're the best. That yeah, smells good. <laughs> yeah, dude. It, this is like $20 a pound. I didn't pay that because our neighbor works there and she gave it to us. Sweet. But... I will sometimes, every once in a while. Every once in a while, I treat myself to roaster coffee. It's crazy how like, the whole coffee scene has been blown up in the lab. Okay, fine, don't go on. Okay, there we have it. Fresh coffee. John, you gotta work at ten thirty, right? Yeah. Okay. You have plenty of time. You can watch the rest of the stuff. I think it's almost, it's almost done. I mean, all like the, uh, the fight stuff, you know. And we, I mean, there's all kinds of footage for during the fight day, and that's probably gonna be the longest, longest day. But uh, what's left is, let's see, we're the weigh-ins this Friday night. And then I think we capture like you know them getting on the bus, getting out there to the to heavy TV you know during during fight uh, fight day, and then it's like behind the scenes stuff like uh, you know you'll, you'll see a lot of uh, crowd shots you'll see a lot of um, there was like a, a blue and red corner behind the X, so that's where the fighters go to warm up, too. and then there's a there's a separate gym that's about. 200 yards away, it's a separate little, little facility where they actually work out, you know, so there's there's a red and blue that they're separated. And that's where you'll, you'll see a lot of uh, kind of scenes from warming up and they are trying to capture that stuff. But eventually, like, it'd be nice to have one of these people live in, like, each corner, you know, to be able to... Top, top yeah, down. Yeah. yeah, and then be able to pull over, like, the fighters, you know, maybe, like, a little, like, you know, they kind of... You know, they kind of share, you know, how they're feeling before the fights, and, you know, so. Hmm. So, do they meet up with, like, uh, the trainer over in the corner during yeah. those uh, in-between rounds? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the trainers, you know, there's some footage we got. The trainers are taping, you know, taping their hands, you know, and, like, the, the cool shots, you know. Mm -hmm. so. Good stuff. <coughs> And they all they all prep a little bit differently, you know. I know like during my uh my sports days when I played football. <coughs> it was at um hour and a half Bulldogs. before. Yeah. You know, we'd have our little meetings, you know, and, and I always, you know, would like be so nervous, so high energy, you know, I'd like fall asleep like, during you know, because we had to break down in groups, you know, so all the running backs would go with the our coordinator and I'd uh I would just uh, be, be so high energy, you know, and then after like, I got, I would just kind of come down a little bit. Oh, yeah. I kind of like, I kind of fall asleep a little bit, you know. <laughs> and then I was always so nervous, man, during warm ups. And you know, so watching these guys, watching their whole like 
the process of getting ready, you know, the process of like stretching, the process of like, you know, you know have the different music, some have this, you know, salsa music, some have rock music. I've seen them kind of, I don't know if it's pretty cool. Yeah, I get that routine now, yeah. Definitely. Left off right now. Yeah, so this this live hangout right here is it's pretty pretty cool, man. I mean, I'm like I'm like kind of new all this, you know. So then it's pretty sweet. And they, uh, they have the same feature too on YouTube as well, so they'll give you uh, a YouTube channel as a way for you to be able to stream it live. Wow, this is gonna replace Skype for me. I mean, this is how I'm gonna do one on one with people now. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, so my, my team with Vaisalis, you know, um, Vaisalis, we had a big, uh, like, our leadership uh, uh, summit uh, last week in Atlanta. So I flew down to Atlanta on uh, Monday, Tuesday. Got to uh, hear John C. Maxwell. John C. Maxwell is like the leadership expert. He was voted number one uh, leadership uh, teacher um, from Forbes magazine or something like that. I and mean, he's, like, he's got a huge following. And, uh, so he's mentoring all of our leaders over at, over at Vaisalas for the next uh, 12 months. Wow. So like you know to be in this to be at the table, you know there's 25 leaders that he want. He wanted to to have 25 leaders um, that he would train personally one on one, and then from those 25 they have to pick their 25, you know leaders, and then from that 25 they should pick their 25. So it starts from. Here and then keep it going down and be, to be at, at that table with John C. Maxwell for 12 months, it was a thousand dollars a month. But but 12 months all paid up front, so you had to have twelve thousand dollars to sit at the table to learn from them. And it's like straight, like, you know, it's, it's not like he's not there to make friends. He's there to find out your, your leadership. He's gonna like he's gonna find out everything about you, you know. Yeah. So I mean, like you sit at the table with them, like you know, like just going through. And there's a, there's a book I'm reading right now. It's like the, it's like the five, uh, five, five keys on leadership, or the five. Uh, and it's like number one. I remember that position. You know, like you know, using your title to lead. That's kind of like the army, you know, because people have titles. And that's not all. I mean, you know, I mean, because you have a title, is not. It's not always a great way to lead, you know. So yeah, or number two is actually to have, to have permission. It's when you have permission from your team to lead, you know, and so that's that's actually outside of your title, you know. So like you know, you have to be able to get your, your team to want to follow, you. Right. and then and go all the way up the line. So that's awesome, man. That's gonna be. I mean, you're still going through that. You still. Yeah. So I mean that, that, that. So that translates across the board, you know, for all industries, no matter what you're what you do, you know. So mm -hmm. so like I'm actually gonna be um, that second tier, you know, learning from. The guys sitting at a table, and then all the materials that I'll get from that, I'll pass on to you guys. Because I think, like, if all of us grow as leaders, we're all going to be able to, you know, be, you know, closer. We're all going to be able to understand, you know, more, you know. So, like, you know, so our egos don't get in the way. You know, if, you know, if your leadership lid raises. And like you're you're able to learn more, you're more open, you know. Because ego is what causes people to like not grow and to have that friction. So when you when you have that, you know, you're like a lid is raised because a person that has a, a lid of a ten, you know, say the president's above, mm -hmm. they attract seven, eight, and nine that want to come work with them. Right. You know, but if you're like lid, the leadership is five, you know. I mean, you only attract two, three, and fours. I mean, you won't have somebody that's a higher uh, lib, lib, you know, um, leadership actually follow you know, because they always follow some that's at that, 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 that their level or above. So interesting. And the same thing with with uh, music artists, photographers, I mean, creatives. The same thing. So what's that lid stand for? Uh, leadership lid. You know. Thank you. 
I mean, just you, you overall as a, as a, as a person, all of the experiences you, you've actually been able to uh, take in your life, you know, all the books that you that you've uh, read and everything. Hmm. I didn't download it to my computer. Mm. So my dog last night, dude, he was like passed out. Really? He just, yeah, he was just uh, just beat, you know, just kind of on guard, you know, like, like a new house. He had a long day. Yeah, long day, just, just hanging around. Yeah, so like the storyboard, okay, so we'll have to, okay, now it's just trying to figure out narration. So like, you know, I mean, you know like the main characters, you know, I mean, you, you've seen a few of the main characters, but not all of them, you know, like the um, team members, so you guys know uh, Edward, uh, Myron, Wardo, I mean, those are the three key faces, you know. And then, um, then you've seen Jose as well. Jose is going to be uh, you know, a big part of this, our VP. And then uh, Randy. Rand Randy isn't in the video. I think Randy was in it um, early on, you know, when we were do doing the tour of Hedgy. He was kind of like standing by me. But Randy's our um, CT operations okay. classes. Yep. Mm -hmm. so, so we'll have to get those guys. In the video, you know, kind of narrating different parts, you know, so we'll kind of have to kind of figure out where they fit in best. Um, so a kind of overview, you know, the first first part is actually good for Myron, I think Myron or Edward. LBV is a, a good good part, you know, to uh, include like you know Myron or Edward, and then may, maybe some of the fighters, you know, maybe you know how they feel about it. Are most of the fighters in the F, or, or is it just going to be like production team for the cookout? Uh, no, just the start team. Just start team. Okay. Yeah. 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 So Scott's not going to be there, he said, till 7 because Kelly would, so. Oh, shoot. That's not good. So either, I mean. At the cookout? I think she wrote back to the email saying like he yeah. Uh, she needs a ride. So we'll, we'll have to see. I don't know. We'll have to see whether whether we um, find her a ride or yeah, we need her. To, we need to come back. Yeah, yeah. We need to come back. When I have that uh, foot surgery appointment um, that day, I sent you an email about it last yeah, night. Yeah, I seen that. Yeah. But I can just reschedule that. That's fine. Yeah, so it starts on that day at around three o'clock. You said in the afternoon. So well, I might be able. To... Well, the main thing is like, if we get the script ready, you know, and then and then um, you and I can just kind of set up the the way it is, you know, the camera, and you know, like we, we can practice it here, just kind of set it up to see how it is. I don't, I don't know if that's good. Yeah, you want to still to... just. I mean, having him there as well, like if he does get there, you know, like if he is there at seven, you know, if he does come later, they like, won't have to like fly, you know, screw through, you know. So if not, I mean, split it up in parts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <coughs> I'm get something on my car real quick. Right back.
We had a viewer. They actually hopped off though. Cure to this. Who's that live on the YouTube channel? It's, just... it's like live on them, you know, but I I sent out to just uh, our team. So There's actually like a like an app for Q and A too on here. It's pretty crazy. Uh, for dinner, maybe. Possibly. Breakfast of Champions right here, Jimmy. Oh, nice. Yeah, this, live, this live hangout is actually open to the public, dude. You have to that channel. Yeah. Random. Yeah, it was a random person that jumped on. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's a dude that actually makes it live on your on your screen. What are you guys doing?
So here's the first time that like the metal is talked about. So it's actually a good good time to maybe break away and, and show that footage of that the metal that we, that we take. Yeah. Hola, soy Gloria Bravo. Ustedes están viendo XFC por HBO. Hola, soy Gloria Bravo. Ustedes están viendo XFC Internacional por HBO. Y es el las paralelas de Chile. Quiero que digas hola, soy Gloria Bravo de Santiago, Chile, para el mercado chileno. ¿sí? Hola, soy Gloria Bravo de Santiago, de Chile. Usted está viendo XFC Internacional por TVN. Hola, soy Gloria Bravo de Santiago, de Chile. Usted está viendo XFC Internacional por Canal 13. Hola, soy Gloria Bravo de Santiago, de Chile. Usted está viendo XFC por Chilevisión. Hola, soy Gloria Bravo de Santiago de Chile. Usted está viendo XFC Internacional por Mega Visión. Hola, soy Gloria Bravo de Santiago de Chile. Usted está viendo XFC Internacional por Vive Deportes. We don't need a second one. <laughs> hey, that's good. All right. Anything? Are we doing the right way to do this? Oh, for sure. Okay. 
This is Cyrus Fees, the voice of the XFC, and you're watching XFC International on Novo TV. This is Cyrus Fees, the voice of the XFC, and you're watching XFC International on Telemundo. Uh, no, I'm What's that, Univision? This is Cyrus Fees, the voice of the XFC, and you're watching XFC International on Univision. This is El Rey, El Rey Network. Get that one? Okay. This is Cyrus so Fees, the voice of the XFC, and you're watching XFC International on the El Rey Network. Mundo Fox. This is Cyrus Fees, the voice of the XFC, and you're watching XFC International on... One more time. I lost it. Mundo Fox. This is Cyrus Fees, the voice of the XFC, and you're watching XFC International on Mundo Fox. We do that one more time for the camera, sorry. Sure. This is Cyrus Fees, the voice of the XFC, and you're watching XFC International on Mundo Fox. Thank you. This is Revoz right here. <laughs> this is all blue this stuff, dude. Yeah. Whenever you're ready. Yeah. Hola, soy Mayerlin Rivas. Usted está viendo XFC en HBO, Terra TV, Benevisión, Meridiano TV. Línea por línea. Quiere que sea uno por uno. Vamos a cubrir eso. Quiero que. Hola, soy Mayer Rivas. Usted está viendo XFC, HBO. Hola, soy Mayer Rivas. Usted está viendo XFC, Terra TV. Hola, soy Mayer Rivas. Usted está viendo XFC, Venevisión. Hola, soy Mayer Rivas. Usted está viendo XFC en Meridiano TV. Todo el mundo fez grandes lutas. Todo mundo ganhou um boné, todos os atletas têm um boné, tem que entrar com um boné, tem que ter o X no banner, tem que ter o X na bermuda, eu sei que a gente já conferiu de várias, mas pelo, por favor, vamos obedecer as regras. Amanhã o pessoal está saindo às 7 horas, 7 horas, 7 horas, caixa preliminar, 7 horas todo mundo lá embaixo, caixa principal às 9, vamos manter o horário certinho, Pô, a, televisão, a televisão faz a parte deles, vamos fazer a nossa parte também, está no horário, está preparado, o pessoal vai estar aí fazer a vendagem de todo mundo, Entendeu? Vamos fazer um trabalho direito, como todos fizeram em todas, as, em todas as etapas. Todo mundo que está aqui mereceu chegar. Não importa se ah, não, alguém se machucou, alguém não pôde vir, não importa. Todos deram batalha na primeira luta, por isso que estão aqui. Na primeira e na segunda. Beleza, galera? Agora o presidente vai falar um pouquinho. Fala aí, presidente. Ok. Boa noite e obrigado. So, ok. We've talked many times in these meetings. Here's the fire here. And I think everyone in this room understands how we feel about each and every one of you. We're honored to have you in the XFC Hexagon. As you look around the room, tomorrow night is a historic night. Olhando aqui, a gente vê que amanhã, a amanhã à noite é uma noite histórica. There are going to be six champions that arise. Five champions tomorrow night. Thank you. Five champions tomorrow night. There's going to be five champions that rise to the top tomorrow night. Honor everyone that fought in the Shisefsei Hexagon before tomorrow night by fighting with everything you have. Everyone in this room has tasted victory to get to this point. Todo mundo teve aqui já teve um pouco saborzinho da vitória para chegar aqui. And you did it because you fought with your skill. E conseguiram porque lutaram com a sua habilidade. But more importantly, you fought with your heart. A mais importante ainda com o coração. We're so proud of everyone in this room. É muito orgulho de cada um aqui nessa nessa sala. Tomorrow night's going to be a big night. Amanhã noite será uma grande noite. When you walk into that hexagon, you go right from the very start. Desde o princípio, you leave everything that you had 
in the XFC hexagon. Deixem tudo o que vocês têm dentro do hexágono. And you claim what is yours. Conquistem o que é de vocês. You claim what is yours. Conquistem o que é de vocês. Yeah. Before I finish, I want to make a couple of introductions. Antes de terminar, quero fazer um só apresentar umas pessoas. Everyone in this room, of course, knows our CEO. Chief Executive Officer, Mr. Edward John. Edward's vision created what we all have right now, right here in Sao Paulo, Brazil. I also want to introduce one of our other partners, Jose Luis Sanchez. And by now, everyone here knows our matchmaker and director of events, Eduardo Duarte. <laughs> our Chief FC staff, Scott, <laughs> Jimmy Lee, Hanato, <laughs> Brandon Stewart, <laughs> and our VP of Operations, Mr. Randy Zenas. <laughs> And of course, our fantastic Brazilian, Richard Vanderlei. <laughs> and where's Tatiana? And Eduardo Duarte's wife, Tatiana. Please stand up, Tatiana, so everyone can see you. Oh, Val! Val is here! Hello, Val! Please stand up. Everyone in here, it's because of their hard work, which is why we're all here. Tomorrow night, you're on television in front of millions. I'm going to ask you, are you ready to go? Are you ready to go? Are we going to bring it tomorrow night? Os, os, os. Yes. All right. All right. Tomorrow, there will be five, and Will, you will have your chance for number six in August in our main event. Muito bonita e a coberta de ouro exatamente como tem que ser, tá? É ouro de verdade a cobertura dela. We're going to ask you, when you win, be very careful. This is covered in gold. Quando vocês ganharem, tomem cuidado porque é coberta em ouro. Ok? I'm going to ask you one more time. We ready to bring it, Chief Chef Say? Mais uma vez, estão prontos? Ready to bring it, Chief Chef Say? Everyone give me a good X. Let's go. Let's see it. <laughs> These guys are too good. All right. Boa noite. Let's go. All in, Come man. on. We got it all in. This is a bro. Relax now. We're all made weight. 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 We're so all the seats in there, they're all bolted yeah, right, right. So look at every single seat. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you so much. They were all painted too because I think the, the whole uh, set was all white, you know, so they had to go through. Paint on the chair, black, or the paint. They're going to turn on the lights right now. You know, just uh, I can see this one. They're all white. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Renato, can we move the chains off yes, the wood? Yes, after they, they are oh. accepted. We want to pay our service. Service. Off service. Mm. Yeah. Nice, I like No se llama Paula, su nombre, su nombre, padre, su nombre. No se gusta bien, no, she's at the set. Hola, amigo. No, get... Olá, meu nome é Vanessa. Olá, meu nome é Alessandra. Olá, meu nome é Raíssa. E vocês estão vendo? XFC. XFC. Eu vou dividir o canal. 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 Eu sou a Alessandra. E eu a Raíssa. Nós somos a Bennett House Band do XFC. Outra vez. Olá, meu nome é Vanessa. Meu nome é Alessandra. E o meu é Raíssa. Nós Olá, somos as Pet House Pets do XFC. Mas acho que é um perfeito. So here's the first time that we're seeing this logo printed on the mat. Like literally, we That's just got bad, done deciding this logo with a go Tuesday. So Randy, you know, finally roped in, you know, I word and I were in the same room. They were One, at it two, two, three. Hours, and we brought the rest of the team in the room. So like literally, there was like seven of us. So now it's confusing. And Alex is like finishing you know, the logo up, and then it got approved, and then it got sent to be printed. So we're actually just seeing it right now for the first time. This guy's pretty. Three. So they were making um, final final changes too on like the, the vertical, uh, like the vertical uh, mass studio for the sponsor. So they actually uh, some wider ones. One, two, three. Maybe they need to move us to the beam can, but like it's not as strong. Well. Don't you sure worry, I'm not going to forget. Walk in, that booms across the whole top of the head. Yeah. Uh, One, two, three. One, two, three. Two, three. Two, three. Two, three. Two, three. Two, three. Two, so all these holes are here. Mr. Dwarf, uh, Renato, come up here for a second. For a second. I just want you to speak the words. I want uh, Raisa to be the, the referee. Tell her that. She's going to be the referee. She's going to be the referee. They're going to be the opponent. Okay, so there are three on the pilot. So I need them. Yes, no, no. So I just need to ask Addressing exactly. like Alex's logo right now. Yeah, you need to have like an episode of like the extra. Just this So like I mean, part of it, you know. <laughs> Thank 
Can you look at her? Yeah, yeah. And then uh, look at her. Okay, now that's funny and cute. Okay, so now can we have them look each other like very angry? Or, you know, competition? Oh, uh, playing with the ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can skip all that. It's all the same. Okay, uh, keep, yeah, hold that. Just hold that. Almost done. One, two, three. Had you actually had a couple of good um, good clips of it already produced, you know, um, they actually uh, I think they they talked to the girls like night earlier, you know, before they started fights. You know, hey, uh, we got to get rid of uh, the pads. All the pads got to go. The angles, you know, on the stations. We can maybe uh, do a little. I think maybe they're back a little bit. Yeah, they just go over there. Yeah, they better just. Do that live, like, fold it on, but, you know, some of this, uh, live shot. I hope there's a good chance, though. Come on. Go with your brasses. Go with your brasses. Okay, and then looking at each other again. Bravo. Yeah, sorry. Sorry I'm not more, like, passionate about this. Yeah, but you can't go with the girls. Yeah, I'll just So this is what day is this? So this is Friday, Friday night. So when you start seeing the, the pace of everybody, you know, the tone started to get a little bit more serious. You know, not quite that year, you know, but you'll start to see the yeah. stress levels. Uh, I think we got it. Right now. It's almost game time. We got it Perfectly. did record. So now we're still uh, waiting on, on some of the, uh, uh, on the stickers XFC, to come. We did one stick for penthouse pets. We're still, still waiting on like the corner okay. uh, cushions to come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Actually making right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So all this right here is contained. You know, this is in, in the studio. And you can use our access to all of their stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then uh, uh, we go. Yeah. 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 A lot more, you know. So our staff, you know, is gonna gonna be a like a bigger part of, of you know really assembling all this, you know. So. So that was uh, footage from June sixth. Just got done. Uh, that was the uh, official weigh-in at Hedgy TV, and now we're gonna move on to watching footage of Fight Day, which is uh, June seventh. There's a chat messenger box right here if you want to chat. Whoever's on, I'm Jimmy Lee, your host for today. There's no listing of who's on now. It shows one viewer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is probably about Some attention. Some of the staff, 
Scotty so, sure. and I mean, I'm really I'm carrying my backpack and I got my, my laptop and let me check this calorie and you know, That I met Tatiana with his son, actually. So, Just kidding, man. These are all the uh, rocks. the stadium. They have a little bar set up. They have a, a picture wall set up. Photo. Like, you know, have like promo girls and all that, you know, different like, you know, liquor samples and stuff like that, and photo booths. And, um, we've got that whole, that, that whole, uh, act, you know, the great, uh, uh musician. At the Yeah, 
There he is, Randy. There he is. Randy. You excited, Randy? Huh? You excited? Shoot back. <laughs> That's awesome. So Randy's in charge of the stuff that is very important, you know, but it's not like when, you know, like the land is very all like, you know, like the ordering, you know, the math and all the you know, behind the scenes that we put the app. See all that stuff, you know, you know, you might think it's like, hey, you know, but you'll see. Yeah. 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 So this is this is where they all walk in. So Edward sits right here, my Randall all right here. And um so we're like actually over here this You know, to build up dramatically. So they, they walk in the gym back there. Oh, there 
Scott has his giant uh, pad of paper. <laughs> Got a lot of stuff to cover. <laughs> I'm a big picture thinker. <laughs> this is how big this is how big thinkers take notes. The giant, the <laughs> comedically large piece of notepad. <laughs> All right, so let's let's talk about. Asunção, Asunção, and Solano, they were paired up by and so every fight there's a super fight, so it's, it's always us, you know, a veteran, somebody that can be in the event that attracts. Solano, Juarez, Gomez, and Madeline Rivas. They were supposed to fight each other? Nascimento was actually um, was actually the second fight. The second like major fight. So there was a super fight and then there was a, there was a fight that's uh, that's not part of the tournament and also. This was a super fight. And this was a super fight. But but Gomez and Rivas that's probably the, the ladies tournament. So these three were all these four were all part of the Ladies Tournament. So that's just supposed to be. I mean, I know all this. So it was actually supposed to be Gumerez versus Melo, but Melo got injured, so they brought Bravo and Melo beat. So it works now. Yeah, it works out, you know. So now Nello can actually fight. Nello can fight. Ramirez. We can talk about that. You know, like what we need to talk about. Like, all right. Yeah, because, because. Right, hold on. I got it. I'm, I'm, keep, keep talking about what you said. Because throughout, like, you know, throughout the, uh, you know, the LBV, you know, we, we see Nello. So Nello is a big character in our, in our, Fight, you know, and then you see Bravo trying to cut weight. You know, she's like, you know, and then actually both of them trying to cut weight. Uh, so like, there's actually a lot of footage of, of them trying to cut weight, and then there was show fight day, like when that fight never happened. 
happen, then we should be able to say, you know, next next round we should be able to do, you know, even mellow worse mirrors. So the characters are, are being built, you know, you know with, that, with that fight with it actually doesn't happen. Um, so we're we're definitely going to see uh, Bao and Junior in season two, probably fight on. Probably we're going to see Maris uh, Mallow as well. Feel the rest. Yeah. So these two fights, these two fights are going to decide all the way Luciana Catano. Eduardo. Yes, sir. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. How are you guys? Good. So we're Good. actually on day two right now. We're watching uh, the footage. I got Luke here and can I say hi to Eduardo. This is John Erickson as well. Scott's okay. brother. Yo. So we started this morning at 7 a.m. again, but yesterday we watched from 7, uh, 7 o'clock to about 2.30, so, wow. Yeah, yeah. So we're laying out the storyboard today, so we're going to figure out uh, uh, which episodes we're going to create the storylines and figure out the the person kind of narrating, you know, each one, so. Okay. So like in this in this arena, there's a lot of like wealthy celebrities that are you know who they are, you know, but there are like, you know, like it's a thousand VIP nights. You know, so. Love is probably like here's our angle right here. This side right here. Yeah. Sorry. It's kind of behind me. Behind my shoulder. Ward, see, fucking Joe Santos is insanely huge. But for what? I don't know. And I always kind of felt like that. As soon as I saw him, I was like, okay, this guy's body. I spent way too much time in his body. You don't get when you look at this guy's abs, like, that's just like. There you are, Dwart. 
Did you stud you? <laughs> I was watching you. <laughs> so Uda, I mean, Uda walks out with the whole crowd like Tatiana. Is he? Is he the first one? That's right here, like we're actually live reading. Is he Tatiana? Yeah, I'm sure he's is uh, first, uh, second, second I believe is Uda. And third was uh, the girl. Yeah. So the, the, the first, the first. Yeah, that's what I'm not so much. What's the what's the order of the fights? For five. Do I have it? Yeah. I'll send it to you. Okay. Well, it was Hocha de Santos, Uda Rayla. Gomez Rivas. We know us since I was last. Since I was last, I was six. Dude. Second was actually. Second to last was Villalobos Douglas, right? Or second no, was, was actually Rivas, I think, dude. Right here. Here's the second fight. So it was uh, Dos Santos, and then second was Rivas, Gomez. Man, you have some awesome ringside footage. Ula and Rayla with her. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> She's just dripping. I got cinematic footage. Oh, oh man. Dude. Yeah, dude, that's, that's, that's actually right next to us. So it was it was so, so real, dude. I mean, I smelled the, the dried blood. I can't smell blood because I'm not a vampire. <laughs> but I saw it. I saw it. No, dude, we were both watching, weren't we, Jimmy? When like she gets up at the end of round two, and it's just like yeah. falling as she's standing up. It's just like pouring out of her face into a puddle that's like splashing a little bit. <laughs> like you're like. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> bitch got fucked up, man. Like, <laughs> then she, oh my god! And then she, yeah, and then she came back and put put Rebus in an armbar, dude. Yeah. Game over. Almost broke her arm. Yeah. I could not look away. It was, it, but it was also horrifying to see. See, that's gotta hurt, but they got all these random the training. Like, good job, dude. Yeah. They're warriors. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna send me the order actually. Uh, send you now. Okay. Email. Awesome. With the Lobos right there. So you'll find too, like you know, the fighters are all from different countries, you know, and then there's a there's a different following too, you know, because of pride thing too, because like some fighters. Most of them from Brazil. Yeah. But like you'll find a lot of when the Rivas fight, you know, happen like there's actually a lot cheering for cheering for Bonia, right? Because, because she's from Argentina. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Solana. So, and Bill Lobos are both from Costa Rica. Yeah, so there's like certain countries that like each other, you know, so some will like cheer for the one, you know, because they're from the other one to the end. They're all cheering for, for Rivas, you know, because they don't like um, Argentina, okay? So like, 
and she won, they actually all all set up and clap her, you know, because because of her heart, because of her passion. She actually fought through. <laughs> Such intense crowd footage. That's good stuff. He was at the um, the event with us on Wednesday at the LBV. For Uda. Ha, dude, you got the takedown. That was perfect. I shot some really cool stuff on my speed too. Okay. <laughs> yeah, shot too much. She's she's sixty frames.
lot on the back of the feet. Now, here's the thing, like, we have... Fish eye lens on that. Thing. Or like, uh, How's that hooked up? I don't know. It's fine. Yeah. Over there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you are there. He's here. Yeah, I'm just. No, no, I don't. <laughs> What's up? That's fine. What are you making breakfast? Uh, yeah. No, actually, I don't. I'm not a big breakfast person, so. I'm just, uh, I gotta do my lot, my bag <laughs> before I travel today. Did you just say you don't do breakfast personally? Is that what I heard you say? I don't eat much. I don't eat much breakfast. Yeah. But it's important that your metabolism performs better when you fuel the fire, man. I you understand do. the habit. If I wake up very early and I'm gonna have a very long day, I'll eat breakfast. But most of the time, I just I'll eat at around twelve, and then I have lunch at four. Hmm. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Um, sweet. So we want to do ten episodes because we have plenty of content. And I think, are you gonna be here on the first? Yes. Yeah. I, so I get there on the first around two p.m. or so. You to the airport or to my? No, 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 no. no. I arrived in uh, Detroit tomorrow. Oh, wow. But I go to Toronto for a couple of days, and then I drive from Toronto straight to Spring Lake on uh, Monday morning. So oh, that'll be a fun drive. drive. Huh? Toronto to Spring Lake will be a, a fun drive. It'll be so long. You'll see a lot of Michigan. Yeah, well, so. But I'm leaving very early, so I'll be there in uh, 1, 2 o'clock p.m. or so. 1, 2 o'clock on the 1st. Okay. Um, okay. Well, you're going to be tired, but we're probably going to, you know, let you take a power nap and then shoot you for like an hour, dude. No problem. Okay. So we're not going to get as much access. We're not going to get any more access to you between now and then. Because what's going to happen, Eduardo, is yep. we're going to interview every staff member that was down there for Fight Week 5 to kind of talk to them about their experience and what they remembered moments from the fights that they remembered. We're going to kind of draw the storyline out so that we don't write a, a, a bulky voiceover and have one voiceover artist do it or whatever. We'll have the story told through the eyes of our, our team, our staff, and then what we can do is uh, I want to spend our first two episodes talking about one through four, and I want to kind of draw on your knowledge of, obviously, all the fighters and what happened at the fights, but with the perspective of who advanced into the tournaments. Because with Episode 3, I want to kind of set the stage for Fight Week 5, and we're going to talk about Fight Week 5, how all the fighters from 1 through 4 got to the, to the finals, how those super fights were uh, matched up, and then what ended up happening due to injuries and illness and what we ended up with, and then we'll, we'll kind of sum it up with what, what to expect for Season 2, Event 1, with two of our tournaments uh, actually having their final bouts. Um, but we, we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're going to distribute all of the storylines throughout the 10 episodes, so it's not going to, like go through the whole story in episode three or four. It's going to kind of piece together the story over the kind of week span that we were there and what was happening with, uh, with the fight. Can you click on his window so I'm not looking at myself on delay? Because that's really weird. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so I just wanted to give you a heads up about that and let you know kind of what we're planning because... Edward's going to have some cool sound bites, but we're probably only going to talk to Edward for five, ten minutes about the formation of the company and his vision and his, like, the things that he'll say that'll sound really cool, but we, we'll get maybe five, ten minutes with him, uh, five, ten minutes with Myron, because we were already with Myron for an hour the other day, and we'll, we'll use a lot of that. Um, but even, you know, five minutes with Cynthia, five, ten minutes with Val, 
five, ten minutes with Jimmy and I, but we want to spend probably a half an hour to an hour with you talking and having, um, you know, your very intimate knowledge with the whole inner workings of the story that we're working with here. And it'll just be more conversational, and it'll be really natural and really cool. I think people will really connect with it, and the audience really, uh, I think, will like that. We won't even necessarily use the footage of it as much. We may use a couple seconds just to establish you, but a lot of it will just we'll be hearing your voice come back into the story as we're playing clips from Hedgy, as we're playing clips from the field that I captured, all the interviews, all the different things, all the behind the scenes, and then with our music, dude, it's going to be awesome. Okay. All right, man. Cool. So I guess we can go back to reviewing the footage. That's all I have for now, but we're just kind of breaking it down. Yeah, but don't worry. I mean, I, I think I'll be fine. I mean, we, we, I'm going to be on holiday, so we'll spend the weekend. I'm probably going to go to Niagara Falls on Monday. Yes. And then, uh, I'll be relaxed. Wait, where are you going to you gonna go to Niagara Falls on Monday? Yeah. That's beautiful. It's kind of a, I think that's kind of a drive from Toronto, too, but Niagara Falls. It's not from Toronto. Huh? Whatever, well, yeah. It's an hour from Toronto, I think. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, yeah, it is pretty, Toronto's pretty far up there. Yeah, yeah I mean, near to Toronto is about six hours, I think. I've only been to the U.S. Spring side Spring. of uh, the falls. I've never seen the Canadian side. I've oh. seen it from the Canadian side. <laughs> Long travel day ahead, man. You're flying up here to Detroit, so that's 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 almost ten hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I stop in Miami, and then we have a three-hour layover, and then I get another flight to there. Cool. No, not cool. <laughs> yeah, man. Well. Junior, does a junior also Asal live in Miami right now? Say again? Junior Asal Sal? Yeah, I imagine he is. Yeah, he lives in Miami. I'm going to see on the way back. Like, on the way back from the trip, I'm going to spend three nights in Miami, and then I'll probably see him there. You need a, you need a roommate? <laughs> <laughs> I'll come down to Miami. I'll, I'll tape uh, behind the scenes and tape your podcast or something. You just need an excuse to go to Miami for three days. Man king the whole time. Um, I think my cup's in there. Who wants more coffee? Oh, right here, Jimmy, Jimmy wants more coffee. I'm good. Thanks, Jack. Thank you, Jack. Got my little caffeine shake. Full service uh, assistant editor over here. <laughs> All right. John, when are you working? It's 9.17. You want to go back to the footage? Okay, Jens, anything else? I think we're good. We're good for right now. Safe travels, man. Okay, when I get there, I'm going to get a uh, U.S. Uh, SIM card right away, so uh, I'll email you guys my number. Okay. So when I get to Detroit, I go to Best Buy, and I always do that. I get a SIM card, and I have a local number there. So. Okay, perfect. And then uh, either tomorrow or the day after, you're going to have a number for me to be able to reach me. Okay, awesome, man. Okay. We'll talk soon, man. Okay. Thank you. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Hey, Travels. Thank you. Bye, guys. See you soon. <laughs> so that whole conversation is going to be on YouTube. Like all of our work is like on YouTube. Yeah. So what? So we're just gonna send our bosses like eight hour video links on YouTube and just be like, yeah, this is all of our work. <laughs> we're, not doing, we're not doing a time card, we're just literally giving you like a security camera. <laughs> just, like, live stream of the work session. Because it's still going, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Focus on which fighters. Absolutely. It's awesome because like we're talking about like, hey, we need to shoot you for this. 
Jesus. <laughs> what are these guys doing? <laughs> Just like Bill. Is, uh, it's Rilla and his girlfriend. No, no one has this. This is super intimate. This is literally the first time they see each other after, and they are like, he's crying. Mm -hmm. Like that, I felt really awkward taking that. I was like, I can't. This is cool as ever here, dude. These guys are, are celebrating. That's not cemento, and it's cool. He showed them so passionate. <laughs> I couldn't tell you what it is. He's right here. That's a mental. It was combined them because that, that's his crew, and, the, and over here with the, the shoot boxing crew, you know, the guys with their the little uh, yellow uh, shoulders. They all have like they all have team shirts, you know? Like you'll see it in the shirts too, like actually that's a with the crews. But right here I think they're all kind of mixed. And so right here, um, the, uh, Franco got all the crowds to like, do that. So that's Franco right there. That's the Franco. That's the And the guy who's known that I've the other guy. Yeah. Two guys. No, actually, no. That was Franco? No, that was Wayne. That That would be winning. Uh, 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 oh, yeah, I think there is more for them. Alright, so here's the deal. We arrived on. Did you shoot anything? No. No. We shot on Tuesday. First thing we shot. First thing we shot was, uh, I think Junior getting in. Actually, you know what, Jimmy? We need to. Yeah, I need to get the footage off of your still camera that I took. Uh, so we're getting into Sao Paulo, we're driving the game. Okay. Favela's getting winding through, he's traveling so bad, going through Sao Paulo to Osaka. Yep. Like, Randy, we were in the car. Dude, you know how long we were in the car? Getting back? Yeah, for like two hours. Yeah, man. But uh, I slept for like an hour, and then I woke up because we were just winding all over the place. Like, where the fuck are we? And he's like, I don't know, I don't recognize this area at all. <laughs> Here's my card here, Check yeah. this out, dude. This is one of the other fighters that's not fighting that's like really just like into it. Oh, and there's Mella and her cute friend. This is one of our fighters we on the left. Vanessa Mella. She's gonna fight Vanessa Unitas. She she still has to fight. Mello got a booty. Right, this is what I'm saying. They were right next to us. This was a decision. Don't look down at that. We got Chiotti and we have two more fights after this. We have to send off 
shows that we get the uh, someone and send on. I know we stayed there. So all my pens that I've that I've had, dude, that I brought with me, I brought like six pens. None of them worked. No, no, no. At the Western, so I stocked up. And there's, a, there's a little thing of all those Western pens. So I just got a bunch of them. Yeah, so we have one song that we play all week. Which is why so, music is just, you know, So we need to have some. Music. Yep. It's just looks like Michael <laughs> Keaton? Byron, yeah. A little bit, yeah. Yep. I mean, that if you watch this, my brother thinks you look like Michael Keaton, so there you go. He thinks I look like Justin Bieber. That's true. Yeah. You got Batman and Bieber. Batman and Bieber. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. So the rough guy got a bloody nose. Yep. So oh yeah, yeah. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> I got that. What? I got shit nobody else has, dude. I got Rayla and his girlfriend crying, mm -hmm. literally hugging. Like they they were hugging for like five minutes. Like I left, they were still hugging. Like, I can't do. I can't do this anymore. Like I don't feel good about this. Uh, I got I got that guy. Yeah. His face is, and he's getting talked to. I don't even have a shot of his face that's busted up. I have a shot of the guy talking to him, like. Bandaging him and just like you know, telling him like you know, get back in there and get to get the fucking rap, dude. <laughs> like, I have all that kind of stuff. I have a perspective that no one else has. No, no, it's not. It's because it's not a broadcast. I'm not shooting for broadcast. I'm shooting like a film. I think a lot of this is in high speed, actually. Yeah, and these guys were uh, fighting. A lot of this is in high speed. It looks just. No, does it look cr crisper and cleaner? Mm -hmm. Can you slow it down? What program is this? Good. Is this a new clip? Oh yeah, this is definitely high speed. Bring it back to the start of this clip. Play around with it. Can you bring it back to the start of the clip? So how that program work the high speed? Who's that frame rate looks that much more consistent? Captures more more uh, more polish. Captures more frames. Okay, here okay. we go. So you never get that ghost scene effect of what's yeah. skipping scenes or frames? Obviously isn't obviously isn't rendered. Like when it's rendered, it'll be smooth as silk. Ass. <laughs> like it looks a little it looks a little choppy right now. Actually, is this one of the high speed clips? No, this might not be one of the high speed clips. I thought it was. And so all the fans were cheering for Douglas, obviously, you know, from Brazil. See his hair. He came up with a flag. Mm -hmm. He actually loses. And then, um, yeah, Bill Lobos. Bill Lobos. Bill Lobos is a beast, dude. So Douglas fought in, in a previous Yeah, dude, this is high speed. And actually, Douglas actually uh, has his, his girlfriend Marion in the last one, the last time he fought. Yeah, he's not going anywhere. He's really nice. He's really nice, dude. He's really cool. Very respectful, very, yeah, so very good. good. Douglas. Well, well, both of them, but yeah. Douglas, Douglas is what I was talking about. He's on his knees and he's got to come on. Just, just thinking of him. They're all, they're all very grateful for this opportunity to fight. Oh, wait. Maybe this is the one. Yeah. Really? Yeah, this is high speed. I don't think the last one was. This one is. You can see how smooth it is? 
So don't don't listen to what I was saying about the last one. This one's a nice view. Because you can tell how fluid it is. That's a great shot right there, dude. So how'd you capture that same takedown too, I think? Like a highlight. That's not high speed. So this is after all three rounds is done. So they're, they're very emotional and they're all waiting to get figure out who's gonna make the uh, decision. <laughs> he won't knock him out. Did he knock him out? Submission. Uh, is that any more uh, extra memory when we get probably 60 frames per second? Uh, I don't know because it takes it down to 720. Oh, um, but it probably is. Yeah, it, it would definitely. I think it's by much. <laughs> He's got it on third. That's nice. He's got he's got two drives. He's got two five terabyte drives. And then one's got one to four. And then one has got just five. Have you checked me that out yet? Say again. Have you checked me at the rest of the rooms? Yeah. Maybe they do have a job over there. <coughs> Stops my uh, the fighter uh, meeting that uh he kept was phenomenal. Uh, my two cameras are even better because you notice I kept recording while I was running around. That was because I needed to set up different shots. But I couldn't stop recording because I had it mic'd. If you have two cameras and a sound guy, the sound guy has him mic'd and is recording the sound. We, the two cameras, can can shoot and cut and go around as long as they're looking at each other. Like I'm gonna move, I'll stop recording. You keep recording no matter what. You stay on your shot, or we get little you know ear pieces to talk to each other. And then I'm running around getting another shot, the reverse, because you want a lot of times you want a shot from like sitting next to one of the fighters, halfway back. You know what I mean? Like, so there's fighters behind you, fighters all around you, so you can kind of pan from the fighters over to Myron and just keep a shot there. And then you want a, a camera next to Myron doing the same thing, looking at Myron, looking out at the fighters, like showing that whole experience. And there's always a conversation happening. So I'm either always awkwardly on one side or trying to catch it from the middle. You have two cameras going. You can capture everything. No, I know. I'm just saying it's like to make it better. You know? You have that back perspective. But see, you, you add the sound guy, then the sound guy's worrying about the sound. So if we're shooting something, a lot of times we'll be shooting the same subject but from two different angles just so we can have time to cut and edit and like move the space around. It's, it's hard to do. I mean, I guess if you're capturing a lot over a period of time, you have, like, a, like, we have so much to work with here, but... You can be so much more precise and efficient. Because then uh, the second camera guy can help the first camera guy set up lights. And sound guy worries about all the sound. The camera guys don't have to worry about the sound at all. Because that's the only thing that isn't going to be really up to par about this is going to be the, the sound that was captured by me down there when we didn't mic them up or whatever. And so here's like the, the matchup for the next, uh, next event. Like they're actually sitting by each other. Yeah. No, we'll go vote. Yeah. Dude, the six. Jimmy, the fact that we're going to tape everything on June 1st, all these interviews with the staff on a good mic, which is, hey, we got to talk about making sure we have lights, mics, all are here for the first. So, uh, check that out. Yeah, we got to make sure they all have Get, yeah, yeah, we get, yeah, we get to figure out stuff like that. 
military edition. I mean, you know, needs it'll be on a battery. Mm -hmm. We're gonna need a second battery for that. I could teach you how to do sound, dude. You could do sound, still photos. You could do sound, still photos, and C camera for video. John can do B camera for video. All three of us can set up lights. Jimmy's working on coordinating everything. Make sure the schedule, everything is like going. Talking to me about the script, and the story, and everything. Talking to you about the wording, the story, the questions, whatever. I mean, we can all, four of us, sharing all the all the weight of this. Um. Okay, so here's like how you want to kind of do story. So you think you can get Kelly a ride back there? So you can be... Here, let's pause the fight for a second. They're not going to be able to see this on the camera. Yeah. It's not. It's just written in pen. I need you pressing there all day, Scott. At the, at the barbecue. Right, no, because she works until 5 or 6 on the 1st. So I got, I'll just ride out with... Maybe I'll just ride out with you. I don't know. I mean, it's like, it says significant others. I don't know if, like, you want to bring Sarah. Yeah, because I know you're going to have to go up there. Yeah, Deb's time. working, actually, so. Maybe three days I can find When is Deb work. getting off of work? Uh, uh, later on, and she works to work like 10 or something. Oh, really? Yes, it's real close. And so I told her, like, the next day would be all day to be able to rest like out. Yeah. All right, so guys, traditionally an episodic content you uh, have, and as we will, have uh, time to play with the storylines over the episodes, right? So I've written down the episode numbers here, 1 through 10, and kind of hashed out notes for the first three. But what I want to talk about is how we can format um, all of these episodes, including the first three, even though it may not be as easy to do in the A, B story format, where you have two, you have a main primary focus story and then a secondary focus story that you don't spend as much time on. But, you know, we'll have our opening. I mean, this is our 10-minute episode right here. And this is sort of the rhythm, you know. We're, uh, we're, we're really hitting them with the A story with a lot of information, a lot of cuts, a lot of content, really bringing them up to speed for the A story. And then we dive, then we dip into the B story, and it's a little bit different. It has a different feel. It's a little bit, it's a, it's different subject matter possibly, or, um, you know, like for example, uh, we have the workout thing that we did at the mall, and that has all the fighters there, right? That are really cool. Yeah. We don't, we don't focus on Hocha or Mello. Or, or any of the people that stayed after for the LBV kids until we hit the B storyline, okay? So this is going to be like opening of episode four will be like, and then the fighters started to arrive, and it was so sweet because we had our mall workout, and we just show how action-packed that was and how cool that was, and we show the homegirl with her boobies and booty out. <laughs> and then we dip into the B story, and we're like, but, you know, afterwards we get to spend some time with the kids from LBV, blah, 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 blah. And we, we talk about that, and then we show stuff about Cairo and, and whatnot. And then we come back to a, the A story, and we branch off with a couple of the fighters from, uh, from the... So we can talk about Douglas. We'll talk about Douglas a little bit and how he got to the whatever. So you got to remember, we are interviewing the full staff, and we're going to have extra time with Dwarch to flesh out the experience and the story of what has happened. And we can refer to B-roll and, and footage that I have, footage that Hedgie has, uh, to, to actually put what's on screen. But I want you guys to like forget about footage existing at all. Because what's going to happen is we're going to have the story. We need to have a story of all of these people. So I'm going to say, watch, talk about Elizario for five minutes. Give me, give me his whole rundown. Where did he start? Where is he now? Right? We do that for everyone here. We're going to connect these fighters, okay, 
we're going to connect these fighters in our episodes to what was happening during fight week first. That's how we start. So we establish with the event that is occurring, this is our format, okay? We establish with the event that is occurring, say uh, the mall workout or going to wherever, okay? Making weight. We start with an event. We, we attach one of the characters to that event, and then we talk about the event and sort of disassociate from them for maybe a minute. Okay? But this is like, this, these are like two minute chunks right here. This is two minutes, this is two, four, six, eight, ten, right? So, well, that's. So, so once we once we then uh, talk, so say we're talking about Douglas because he was there, and I like that. We're talking about Douglas, and we're listening to the voiceover. So first we start off the opening. We have the show title come in, blah blah blah. blah. Previously on whatever, maybe a little blurb or something, mm -hmm. and then we go right in, and then uh, we show the location, the date, and we go right in to fight week, and we're hearing someone say. And then we got to go do this and that, you know. Maybe like the people setting up the events, like what happened is me and Jimmy, you know, because we are sort of like the flies on the wall for all of this. So we can say, and then we got to do you know, this and this and that. And we set up the we set up the baseline for the event of what's happening. We talk a little bit about what it is. So basically, we go to this mall and we open up to the public. Hedgy team comes in. They make it look like the tits. And then they spar, they bring the audience in. They have, I mean, we talk about how much of a production it is because we capture all of that. That's good. And we actually have the features, the segments that Hedgy produced about those things that we can cut to if we want to. But we don't even have to if we don't want no, to. But you guys have so B. And then we duck down to B and we talk about Cairo Ocha. Okay? So who else was at the. the um, Junior. Junior Sun Sao is fine. We need to work, we need to focus on him a lot, okay? Because he's not even he's not even signed with us. Like he'll have like Yeah, you're right, you're right. This, I mean like there's, there's actually certain fighters that are signed with us. He's not officially signed. He was with just us. He, yeah. He's actually a super fighter. He just kinda of bought in for the main event. We we need to focus on like our our fighters. So Junior is gonna get a mention right. in episode two or episode three. We're just gonna kinda of talk about the super fights in general. And kind of put that in here. We're gonna talk about our first day. We're gonna we're gonna be folk. We're gonna episode three. We're gonna have like the graphic of the fucking bracket fly in, and we're gonna say this is our bracket. So because episode one and two, we're talking all about events one through four. So all those cards we have to go through eight times four, twenty eight. What is that? Twenty nine, thirty two different fighters or something like that, right? All those cards, we, we have to cover what happened in 20 minutes, and then even at the first five minutes of episode three, we're going to be talking about where the bracket is now, who's made it to where, and who's going to face off against who for the finals. That's episode three. And then at the end, in the middle half of episode three, we show uh, Dwarch talking, or no, sorry, yeah, Dwarch, Dwarch is doing voiceover while we're showing the brackets for like the first half of that episode. And we're going to show B-roll footage of all these fighters doing stuff throughout the documentary. Like We're going to see clips from stuff. Don't attach any of the episodes to any t like chronological order of time because we're going to be bouncing around the cr chronology of what happened because we're building stories about these people and how they match up, how, how they are affected by the events and what they are doing in the events that, that we're setting up for them. Um, so we should split footage by person. Have a folder for each person. No, no, no. Because the no, dude, the footage is gonna get so hacked up, it's gonna be ridiculous. Like we're by the time we're done with this, like we'll know where everything is. It's not. It's just gonna be absorbed. And one more thing, A B isn't gonna necessarily be split up into event A individual. No, this is a storyline. A. Story. Okay. B storyline. Okay, so the A storyline, let's say episode four. We're talking about episode four now. So I'm gonna drop episode four next to this. Is that sound the lead, huh? Okay, cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. 
Just stop buying them from like your little, little restaurant over at uh, Pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so so it's 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 Actually, that's a great idea. Like today. <laughs> 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 okay. All right. Okay. Hopefully Edward's watching this and he can be like, let's get him an office. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. Actually, I like working at home. I just need a desk, a better desk. Okay. So, Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Wow. So uh, these are thirty-second marks here. And this is an episode. This is nothing. <laughs> this is death. The blackness. The eternal. The eternal blackness. <laughs> and if left untreated, could be to death. <laughs> So, um, you got to figure 15 seconds. Uh, Recap. 15 seconds, intro, recap. Yeah, previously on whatever little clips. Uh, and then we'll go to like, oh, that's 15 seconds, right? So that's... Uh, Go to the two minute marker here. Uh, is where we do a setup for A, story A. And then we spend a minute on story B. And then we do uh, two minutes on A, and two minutes on B. More in sunshine. And then this is sort of like maybe A and B come together in some way, or maybe. Uh, So let's say episode four. We've we've uh, we've gone through episodes one and two, really kind of getting into events one through four. Mm -hmm. Event or episode three, we're going to start talking about um, where these brackets have gotten us. Okay, which fighters have gotten into these tournament finals? Who are they matched up against? We've already seen the story. Now we're gonna like talk a little bit about each of them. And we can do little like one, two sentence bios spoken while showing B-roll of them in episode three. And that'll take a couple minutes out of episode three. And then we'll have Eduardo um, talking about you know what 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 people what people are talking about. Yeah. The Right, the what the matchups look like. Yeah. I mean, what 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 was the perception when these matchups were announced? You know, that kind of thing. Yeah, who who is the favorite? Who is the underdog? Who you know? What are the what are the uh, underlying stories that make make this bracket significant and interesting? Right. We focus on that a little bit, and then the second half, episode three, we show our arrival, our first day. We talk about our second day. The junior meeting, uh, uh, Edward and Myron. When we talk about the medals in episode three, we talk about the super fight. Super fights. We'll talk about the super, well. We'll talk about Junior and Solano's super fight. Okay. And we'll we'll talk about Nascimento and Lorenzo later. But then once we get to episode four, we're going to introduce Douglas as our A story. Okay. He actually won. In, he won in a previous fight, you know, and then, and then actually afterwards he actually um, asked his girlfriend to marry him. So that was a big, wow. that was a big story. I mean, story. dude, we, so much, yeah, man. Like, see, and that's the thing is we we spend we spend a couple minutes on each of these episodes, and it's gonna come together because we just build we build a soft format, and we do our interviews. 
And we, we get all those stories recorded, well-spoken by our team. We're not going to see our faces a lot. We're not going to see the people's faces a lot. We'll do an establishing shot of that person. We'll show their name, and we'll hear their voice continue, but they'll go, we'll cut to something else on screen. And we're just going to be hearing all these characters come back to us as the audience, right? So maybe you tell that story because you've told that story a few times, and that's fucking interesting and cool. But he did win, so I would ask. I would, it's good that he won, that that worked out for him. That was. wouldn't have worked out on this one. Okay. So we don't have a lot of Villalobos or Solano because their flight didn't even get in it, on, time, on time for weigh-in, I believe. Like, I don't think they weighed in with the rest of the, the fighters. So, so, we're, so say, for example, Scott, are we going to focus on who's fighting who in each episode? No, I don't think we need to do that. I think that we can separate. Like, so what I'm saying is we're not going to have episode 4 be about Douglas and Villalobos. We're going to have it be about Douglas and uh, Rivas or something like that. Okay. Who else was at um, that fight? Fight B. Or uh, not fight B. The, the, the mall event. Okay, because this will include the mall event. But it's not exclusively the mall event, right? Because we'll be bouncing around with different footage of different stuff that makes sense. But the mall event will have... Uh, uh, awesome style. Some focus. Yeah. Yep. Was Junior was there. Tiago but, was there. Rayla. Perfect. So we'll do Rayla for our B story. And I didn't get a lot of good footage of him. Una was there too. Yep. Yep. Who's yep. there as well? So we uh, mm -hmm. All right. Well, anyways, so we're gonna talk about both of them in here. Yeah, no, we'll just talk, we'll just we'll use the mall event to set up both of these characters and then we can go with them wherever. So once we get to minute what is this? Minute three right here? Um, we're free reign to get out of the mall and go into whatever other footage we want to do to talk about those guys. You feeling okay, babe? It's gonna be jumping around between days even. Uh-huh, yeah. But, but mm, the last couple episodes, episode 9 and 10, are really going to focus on fight day. Like, we won't really get making weight. I don't want to show too much of making weight before yeah. for episode 9. All right. Because we, you got to remember, we established, I think, everyone on here we need to figure out where to work in the uh, the injuries and the new characters that come in even in the same week. I mean, that's a, on Thursday when they actually arrive. You know, that's why Hocha we'll, is going to we'll be go really cool to do because we just signed him, right? Yep. After five, mm -hmm. after after it. It's a good book. But um, so you guys see what I'm doing here? Yeah, I'm doing it. Okay, so. We will break down each episode later. We need to make sure that we, right here on our main episode overview thing, and we'll digitize all of this, that we figure out, I'm going to have to do this right now because I know John has to leave soon, but maybe, uh, maybe we continue. And we have all the fighters at least mentioned. You know. All the fighters, yeah. stories told. Okay. Every fighter, Dos Santos, Hocha, Lorenzo, Nascimento, Douglas, Villalobos, Buda, Show. Everyone on here, they need to have their story told. Their life story. Not as much. No. Not as much Dos Santos. Not as much uh, Asuncao or Solano. But all of our XFC international fighters. I don't know if Villalobos is on contract. I don't think Lorenzo is either. But I'm pretty sure Alan is, right? I think he is. So we'll double check, but we want to favor our fighters more because we're, we have a hundred minutes, gentlemen. Okay, we have plenty of time to 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 make everybody look good in this whole endeavor here. Because the primary goal of this is to show the whole experience, the whole story. 
while taking time for each of these people and us as well. So okay, we don't spend as much time on um, Dos Santos, less than, less than, less than on these guys, okay? But we definitely want to highlight Pocha and Silvana. Because we are making their brand. And Schultz, Schultz, mm -hmm. right? And, and Nascimento. Uda, too. And Uda, our champions. <coughs> um. So, <coughs> so our champions are like the future contenders. So our champions will be featured later on in super fights and stuff like that. I know we have our own champions that have gone for the So, episode four, A story is Douglas, B story is Rayla, episode five. We'll have Ocha, be our A story, and um, leave us. Be our B story. Episode six, Schulte, or Schult, Schult. Grant's how you say it's short, but I'm not sure. A story, B story. Uda. Uda. Uh, and then we'll do, uh, let's do episode eight. Is Gomez. Gomez. Awesome. So. We're talking to Junior up here. Some of our best fighter photos. Gomez Nascimento. Gomez Nascimento. B story in episode eight. Last Allen. Ten more footage of Junior for sure. I mean, I mean, he was like, you know, he's the first person that we met, and uh, during the fight workout, he's actually, he's actually really, really working out. So it's gonna be hard. I mean, not hard, but we just really need a good person. See, the people we have the least amount of footage of, Villalobos and Solano. I didn't see Alan that much either, to be honest with you. And this guy got, like, nothing of Dos Santos at all. So let's package them we in episode Alan seven. No, let's put all four of those people in episode seven. Okay. Sure. Uh, That Alan, we have even less than the Santos. So, let's, uh, let's say. Alan. Oh, okay, look, that works out perfectly, guys, because look, we put Solano and Villalobos in the A story. Costa Ricans, right? Kind of makes sense. In the A story for episode seven. And then we have Nascimento and Dos Santos. Dos Santos in the B story for episode seven. So really, there's four storylines. Well, three. If you if we can count the Costa Ricans together slightly, plus Solano super fight, and so is Dos Santos. So really, we're preferring we're going to prefer Via Lobos and Nascimento as far as like actual content and talking about them. But we will we will show the other two and talk about them as well. But we're focusing on on the other ones. Okay, so we're up to episode nine, guys. Um, Douglas Rayla in four, Pocha Rivas in five, Schultz Uda in six, Via mm -hmm. Lobos Nascimento with Solano and Dos Santos in seven, uh, Gomez Nascimento in oops, I had Gomez Nascimento for number eight, so I don't need Nascimento. So still that question though. I mean, are they going to be? Oh, Lorenzo. Story? Lorenzo, Gomez and Lorenzo. That's great. Because they're both. Gomez is from Argentina, and uh, Lorenzo is from uh, Brazil. But they're both from very poor areas. They yeah. both are un are underdog type people. Underdogs. One wins, one loses. But 
That's how it works, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so who am I missing here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, seven. No. And now we have two episodes. Nine and ten. So to focus on, so we're our goal in episodes uh, four through eight are to catch everybody up on the story of these people, their story, where they're, where they're from, how they got to where they are, and what they are doing while they're with us, and showing their experience in some way. So in there, I mean, we're like cutting out. We're going to break, we'll break these down. So they'll be at LBV, they'll be at the weigh-in, they're going to be at, you know, so we're going to mix up footage, right? So it just captures their story. In the right. Yeah, and we can, I mean, we can try to make it chronological, and and the, the audience is going to understand what's happening because we don't, we can focus on the chronological stuff as much as possible, like, we always will prefer a chronological placement of a story or, or a featured, you know, footage in the storyline. We'll always favor chronological, but it's not it's not required. I guess is what I'm saying. So, all right, episode nine and ten, we want episode nine. We want to have all be about all the characters, all injuries. So we'll talk about so that, God, we'll talk about Gaval. He's like a shot of actually Walt we'll, we'll Gaval checking the hotel, checking the hotel, and then right behind him is Pedro, who who's actually in the sling. Gamares, you know, and Melo, right? So we need to talk about those four fighters in episode nine, while telling the story of making weight. That's gonna be a very Slim part of the story, like you said. Mm -hmm. and we're not going to do fight night at all until episode ten. We can get into fight night. We can we can tease stuff about fight night in episode uh, nine. But yeah, episode ten is all about fight night and the results. But the fighter meeting is that, that going to be in nine two? Yeah, episode nine? nine. Yeah, the fighter meeting. That that was fighter meeting well. is at the end of because, episode nine. Because yeah, because right. he really hypes up. He's like, "Are you guys ready? You got to put everything on the mat, you know." And then. Bam, 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 you know, it shows kind of like the, that's huge. That's Sweet. Huge. So fight night and then, like, results. Okay. And then, um, you could do a little, I think we should do a completely separate video about the Gomez send-off. They're all sending her off. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't include that in the series at all. Okay. One of those stories. Yeah. Or, or, or maybe we captured on Sunday. I mean, it we, literally is right after. It was just. It doesn't really fit. It doesn't really fit with what we're trying to accomplish here. Like it's a great part. Maybe some. Maybe there is a way. So, so maybe there, there is a way. To so in there, I mean, it, so in there, it talks about like you know her family. There's a there's a story hey, about why she's there. Her family should have thirty hours. We can show. Like, we can show that moment without telling what it is. We yeah. don't have to tell them that that's after. Exactly, and that she's leaving. We can just talk about her family and talk about how we are. So. It could be another tease story where you just hint at it and then go into it at another time. What's all plugged in here? Should we? Cell phone. USB. We got it. <laughs> we have our uh, ten episodes all mapped out. And all we have to do is break down each episode and sort of roughly script what we want to talk about um, and the questions we want to ask uh, the staff about it all. So Ooh, baby. we're just recording this and putting it on YouTube because we can. Yes, sir. All right, I'm gonna stop this broadcast. You need to stop this broadcast. Yeah. Cool.